welcome to episode 10. Um, today we're going to start a new section of the cookbook. So it's super exciting. Um, we're going to start the appetizer section and there's only like maybe eight or nine appetizers in here. So I'm going to try to squeeze it all in one episode. It could be long. It could be short. I'm not really sure, but we're going to try it out. And just for a note here, a side note, I figured out my microphone here in my room that I do these episodes in and record them. My mic changes colors. <laughs> so I didn't know that. There was a button. And so today I'm in a pink purple mood. So I picked pink. It is so pretty. Um, and I love my mic. It was a cheaper one. And I think it does such a good job. It really does with the noise cancellation feature on it and everything. It's not one of the higher ones that are like what everyone's getting for their podcast. But I personally like it for the price. It is super, super good brand. I really love it. It's called the Vivitar Creator Series um, mic. I don't know who else has tried it out, but I like it. And it was only like 30 or $40. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way, by the way. I'm just sharing what I have because I think it's neat that I can change my colors and there's a noise cancellation feature and everything. Um, so I really like that. And so I really like my mic. I just wanted to share that. I thought it was so cool that I could change my colors. Also, before I got on here, I had to snack on my Girl Scout cookies that I got this year. Um, yeah, they're so good. But I used to be in Girl Scouts, so they bring back so many memories. Now they have new names and everything. But when I was in Girl Scouts, they were all named, well, some of them were named different things. I kind of remember the old names to them, too. Uh, but the, anyway, the reason why I got on this topic is because this section of the cookbook is actually called Appetizers, Dips, and Snacks. And Girl Scout cookies are a snack, right? <laughs> I don't know what your guys' favorite cookie is, but mine is the Thin Mints. And then my number two is the, they now call them Caramel Delights. When I was in Girl Scouts, they were called Samoas. Does anybody remember when they were called that? And then the Peanut Butter Patties were called like Tagalongs or something, something like that. And uh, now they're just called peanut butter patties. They've added so many different cookies to their line. I can't believe it. But anyway, I just had to share that. I had to have some Samoas or Caramel Delights before I came on here. <laughs> so um, we will jump into this real quick because I don't think I can squeeze all these in one episode. I'm going to try. Um, there is about nine of them in here, I think. Eight or nine, like I said in the beginning. So I'm going to try to do as many as I can. I don't want to be a too long of episode either. So we will make this work. So the first recipe in here is a apple cinnamon roll-ups. It's an appetizer. See, this is why I got on the topic of Girl Scout cookies too, is because the first two of these are dessert snacks or appetizers, you know, whatever you want to call them. They're kind of in the same category as a snack, but. Um, so that's the first one. Now, just for future reference for everybody to know, these are just recipes that are in here with no names on them. Nobody to credit. If there was a name on here to credit who had this recipe, I would definitely credit them. Um, they are no shape and form my recipes or her recipes. They're just in the cookbook. Don't know whose they are. So I just want to make that clear now. So I'm just sharing them because that's what this podcast is about, is sharing recipes. So you're going to need six to eight flour tortillas, whatever brand you like. Um, it doesn't say a size, so whatever size. Um, one eight ounce package of cream cheese softened, a fourth a cup of apple, plus additional for garnish finely diced. Remove tortillas from refrigerator. Let's stand at room temperature while preparing the filling. In a small bowl, combine cream cheese, apple, and cinnamon. Spread a thin layer on each tortilla. Top with another tortilla. Layer of cream cheese mixture. 
Roll up, repeat with remaining tortillas. Wrap each roll in plastic wrap and refrigerate. If not serving immediately, to serve, cut each roll into half-inch thick pinwheels. Sprinkle with cinnamon and garnish with diced apple, if desired. Now those sound really good if you like apples. I'm really picky about apples in my desserts, but the cinnamon sounds so good. I am a big fan of cinnamon, so that is that recipe for an appetizer. It sounds super easy. Appetizers are usually easy, so that's why they're called appetizers. They're just a little appetizer, a little snack to hold you over before dinner (laughs) or lunch, you know. So the next one is called a cinnamon and sugar snacks. Now this kind of reminds me of like a churro somewhat, you know, but it's not a churro. It's like a chip, I think, or something. I don't know. Something like that. It just reminds me of like a really good cinnamon churro which is like a Mexican dessert, I think. So they're called cinnamon and sugar snacks. You need one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one package of flour tortillas, and nonstick cooking spray, whatever brand you like on both of those. Um, And then you preheat oven to 375. In a small bowl or plastic bag, combine sugar and cinnamon. Cut each tortilla into six or eight wedges. Place wedges in a single layer on a baking sheet. Spray wedges with cooking spray. Sprinkle with sugar mixture. Bake five to seven minutes or until wedges are light brown and crisp. Remove chips to a wire rack to cool. Store cooled wedges in a covered container or a plastic bag. So those kind of remind you of what I was talking about. Kind of reminds me of like a churro. But anyway, those sound really good. Now for this episode, I think you've noticed already that I'm not going to repeat them all a second time because there's a lot we got to get through that I want to get in this episode. So um, I'm not going to be doing that today. So if you need um, the recipe or you need to know what the ingredients are again, you can always email me or just rewind the podcast, like watch it again. Get what you need for your ingredients. I'm trying to read it super slow because I know I'm not doing a repeat. So I'm trying to make it super easy for you guys. Now the next one is not a dessert. It's kind of like a, not a comfort food, kind of like a a savory appetizer. Is that the word? (laughs) I don't know. But it's called a bacon cheddar appetizer. Now, I'm reading the ingredients on this, and I already know I'm out on this, because there's mayonnaise in it, and I hate mayonnaise. I can't stand the smell of mayonnaise. I can't, I just can't do it. Now, I know it seems like I complain about everything when it's in something, but I am so picky. And if you don't like that, that's fine. You don't have to like that. But I will be honest on this podcast, and I will tell you what I do and do not like. So I hope it doesn't bother anybody. So this one is, does sound good if it didn't have that ingredient in it. And I don't even know what you would substitute that with, you know? So I don't know. So you need a handful of Kraft cheddar cheese shredded. A handful. So you just like throw some in there. (laughs) Um, A spoonful of real mayonnaise. Spoonful of Oscar Mayer real bacon bits. Green onions chopped. Triscuit crackers. Combine the first four ingredients. Top Triscuit crackers with mixture and heat. It does sound pretty good though. Has anybody made this for like a holiday or anything? It kind of reminds me of that cream cheese dip. But it doesn't have cream cheese in it. It has mayonnaise. (laughs) Um, But anyway, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Triscuit crackers are really good too. I haven't had them in a while, but my favorite kind is like the tomato basil kind. They are so, so good. And I think they're good for you. I'm not really sure, but I think they have like a lot of fiber in them. Anyway, it sounds super good. So those are the first three appetizer recipes. Okay, so we got more savory recipes of appetizers to share. And so I can't wait. This one sounds really good. 
and it sounds super easy. These all are super easy, but this one just sounds so good. So this one's called Cheesy Hot Dog Wrap. Yum, yum. Eight hot dogs, eight flour tortillas. Everything is asking for flour tortillas. <laughs> Have you noticed a little theme, a little routine that we've been doing this whole episode? <laughs> um, and then one cup of cheddar cheese shredded. You're going to heat the hot dog according to package directions. Heat tortillas according to package directions. Keep warmed tortillas covered until ready to use. Place one hot dog on each tortilla and top with shredded cheese. Roll tortilla up around hot dog, tucking in ends if necessary. Wrap each hot dog in a paper towel and microwave one to two at a time on high for 30 seconds. That sounds super good. I didn't even know there was an appetizer you can make like that. It just sounds so good. But you need a lot of flour tortillas for these recipes. <laughs> like, you got to go to the store and get an abundance of them. Um, so this next one, I really, really like already. Because I love pretzels. I do not like honey mustard. They're going to want you to do a honey mustard with this. But I love pretzels. They're my favorite. I absolutely love dipping them in cheese. I think that's my favorite thing. But some people do like mustard. So this one is soft pretzels with mustard. You need one 11 ounce tube of refrigerated breadsticks, one egg white, lightly beaten, coarse salt, half a cup of Dijon mustard, a fourth a cup of maple syrup, one tablespoon of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. On an unfloured surface, roll each breadstick into a 20-inch rope. Twist into a pretzel shape. Place two inches apart on an ungreased baking sheet. Brush with egg white and sprinkle with salt. Bake at 375 for 10 to 13 minutes or until lightly browned. Remove to wire rack for mustard dip. Combine the remaining ingredients in a small bowl. So, let's see, what's the remaining ingredients? Dijon mustard, maple syrup, right? And then the dried parsley flakes, right? Anyway, and then you serve with pretzels. Yield one dozen. So if you have any questions about that recipe, I can definitely send it to you. But um, let me read over this one more time. So refrigerated breadsticks, one egg white, coarse salt. So I'm assuming you would put the Dijon mustard with the maple syrup, brown sugar, right? The only thing that makes sense to me. <laughs> so anyway, moving on to the next one. These are really super short recipes, simple, and that's why I'm going to try to get as many on this episode as I can. If I need a part two, I will, but I think we're doing pretty good on time so far. So this is another tortilla thing. Get more tortilla shells. Um, These are called tortilla roll-ups. So you're going to need two 8-ounce packages of cream cheese. One package dry ranch dressing, one cup onion diced, one cup green peppers diced, one can black olives chopped, and one package of 12 inch flour tortillas. Soften cream cheese, add all other ingredients, spread thinly on tortillas, roll up, and then cut in one inch pieces. Serve chill. It's great for parties. You know, that sounds super good, but I'm just too picky. <laughs> I like ranch dressing and I like the cream cheese. Um, the other stuff I do not. So I don't know. Could you make it plain? Would it still have the same flavor? I just don't know. I don't know. That one sounds super good, though. Okay, and I was correct. Um, I only have one more page of three more recipes for the appetizers. And then, um, so yeah, this is all going to be in this episode. And then um, episode 11, the next one, is going to be the dips. 
I think I'll be able to fit all those in the same episode too. So here's the last page of the appetizers in this book. Cheese ball. Which we've kind of already did. So I think I'm going to move on. Um, The chocolate chip cheese ball. This one sounds super good. So it's like a dessert version of the cheese ball. You need one 8-ounce package of cream cheese softened, half a cup of butter, no substitute, softened, a fourth teaspoon of vanilla, three-fourths cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, three-fourths cup of mini chocolate chips, three-fourths cup pecans, finely chopped, and graham crackers. In a mixing bowl, you beat cream cheese, butter, and vanilla until fluffy. Gradually add sugars, beat just until combined. Stir in chips, cover, and refrigerate for two hours. Place cream cheese mixture on a large piece of plastic wrap. Shape into a ball. Refrigerate for at least one hour. Just before serving, roll cheese ball in pecans and serve with crackers. Doesn't that one sound super good? You can like dip, well, right here it says graham crackers, but you could probably dip like a cookie in there, (laughs) like a shortbread cookie or something. That would be super good. Um, Yeah, I've never really read about a chocolate chip cheese ball. Has anyone made it? I don't know. I think I might be making that for some holiday this year. Um, Maybe Thanksgiving or something. That sounds super good. Okay, and the last one for today, our last appetizer, is more of a savory one. And it is a ham and cheddar cheese ball. So, I don't know if you want me to do this one, because it kind of is the same, but just a little different ingredients in it. But I'll do it anyway, because why not? I'm sorry if this is all cheese balls, if you don't like that I'm repeating everything, then that's fine. You don't have to watch or listen. But I just thought people might want this one too. Who knows? It might be a little different, right? So for ham and cheddar cheese ball, you need five eight ounce packages of cream cheese. That is a lot. (laughs) Five of those? Wow. One and a half cup of ham, ground or chopped. Two tablespoons of horseradish. Two tablespoons of mustard. Two cups of cheddar cheese grated. You soften cream cheese, mix in the rest of the ingredients. This makes about four cheese balls. Optional, roll in crushed walnuts. So that's why it called for that much cream cheese. Five packages, because it says it makes about four cheese balls. So I don't know. That's a really big recipe. You would have to have like a big party or like a big family. That's a lot because I'm like, why would you use five of those in one? But it makes sense now at the end that it said that. And next time we are going to discuss dips. I love dips. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the end of the recipe part of this episode. Um, so what are your guys' favorite appetizers? Like when you go out or making them at home. Appetizers are great for... Game days, Super Bowls, um, celebrations, get-togethers, they are so good and so simple. And they hold you down until the main course. So, my favorite appetizer of all time, I do like, now this is my favorite because I love pretzels. (laughs) I would like to hear your guys' favorites too. Mine is the pretzel sticks with beer cheese to dip in at Applebee's. They are so freaking delicious. So dreamy. And you get like four long sticks and then you get a cup of that cheese. Oh, it's so good. So next time, if you really want to try it, try it at Applebee's because I think they have a pretty good selection of appetizers and that's just one of my favorites. Now I do love nachos at some places. Um, Nachos is a kind of uh, appetizer too, but I would like to hear your guys' input on this episode. I hope I didn't go too fast with the recipes because I know I wasn't repeating them, but you can always replay this episode to 
hear the rest of it or something you missed. Hold on, I gotta get a drink. So, I think that today's episode was so interesting. And I'm sure a lot of people have already made these appetizers and have their own versions, which is fine. I'm just here sharing. That's what this podcast is about. And I really hope you enjoyed this episode. But let me know your favorite appetizers. I would love to hear them at the email for the podcast, which is everyday living recipes with love at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you. I love hearing from everybody and discussing things with you and talking to you and just relating with people. I love it. So that's the email. And I think that's going to be it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time. (laughs) 